Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And I am cooking up some uh, tuna salad. I guess I'm not cooking, I'm mixing. Uh, but I just recently uh, went to uh, Laurel Lake with some friends and we had the best time on the boat. But one of the things that was challenging for m myself because I didn't really plan and my friends was organizing and having like really good boat food that you can pull out that's easy that's not messy that doesn't require a lot of like prep work involved so i wanted to make a tuna salad and i think that's great because you can have it on crackers you could have it in a lettuce wrap and so it's very easy and accessible and can just go in a container and be fresh and in your cooler ready to go but i wanted to do a spin on it so i'm doing an asian kind of spicy asian tuna salad and so let's get started all right so i've got uh, green onions going into our bowl um, i can't have tuna salad without a little celery so i'm adding some celery um, celery just has a nice uh, crunch and is going to give it a, a little bit of body so we'll add a little bit of celery in here just a small dice you know that's the thing this is boat food it doesn't have to be fancy it just needs to be mixed up seasoned well and honestly if this sits overnight and is ready to go it's going to be even better the next day so all right so we have a little bit of our diced celery i'm going to do some grated carrot and we're going to do some grated ginger those two things i think just will give it that look of having um, and taste as well with the ginger of that Asian inspiration. All right, little trick, little uh, technique here is when you're trying to peel your ginger, you can take just the back of a spoon and just run it over all of those knobs, if you can see, and it's just a super easy way to peel it without losing much of that ginger. Okay, so we're gonna grate a little bit of ginger in here. A Little bit goes a long way, it's got a nice spice to it. And then I'm using a bigger grater for our carrot. I'm just going to grate that carrot in there. It's going to give it a nice little pop of color as well to the salad. And you may be asking yourselves, like, where's the tuna? Don't worry, I've got it. And I've opened the can of tuna and I've been letting it drain um, in our kind of colander here so that the excess liquid water drains off. And then we're going to add that into our bowl. You know, we have to bind it with something, right? So uh, I'm going to do kind of the traditional here with a little bit of mayo. And then we're going to kind of keep adding and building on that Asian flavor. Uh, I've got some fresh cilantro that we're going to add in here. And then, of course, we need a little bit of heat, right? So we're going to add some fresh uh, squeezed just sriracha got a little sweet and spicy in the sriracha mixture also going to add a nice little color again it's optional so if you do not like it to be hot and spicy you can omit the sriracha altogether so I've got fresh cilantro we can add just a touch of fresh lime juice just to bring a little bit of that citrus in there and then really what's going to make this pop is a touch of the sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil is going to give you a wonderful uh, flavor, some richness, earthiness. And then we're going to add some sesame seeds in there as well for a little bit of crunch. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. And again, you can keep seasoning this to your taste, but I think that you will find that this can be a fresh add-in to any of your boat cuisine <laughs> while you're out on the lake and then this is just going to be um, a hit with everyone all right you guys know where to find this recipe you can go to middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes tab and you can click on this and many others i'm chef allison davis we will be right back after this short break